Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress with Timo. I'm going to be continuing to build my powered uh, fortress with uh, minecarts. I did uh, a little bit of research and I figured out the issue. Um, so leaving off where we or getting back to where we left off. So I've got the uh, the route working for the minecart that's being kicked off from the middle level and going. Uh, a dwarf will come by and kick this, and these rollers will will kick it up. I figured out that we needed rollers every other level in order to get it to go up there. Uh, and it's good you put the roller on the on the ramp space. Uh, so the ramp going up every other level, uh, we'll be able to get it to go by a level and get up to the next one. Um, going all the way up to the top, uh, it makes it up here and stops, and the dwarves come around and kick it down. Now the problem is, the way down when it was full of, for the, the minecart route, that was filling up on stuff that was taken to the middle level, uh, oh, actually, let me I also know that I need to do some work, so I need to uh, shut the power off. This is powered. Active power, yeah. Let me pull this. Pull lever. It's already on pull lever. Okay, excellent. All right, so the minecart issue is that, let me see if I can find the spot where it, where it kicks off. So we were losing stuff on the route right right here. I can actually see it. Yeah, so all our stuff popped off and, and it got dropped in this square. The reason that that is happening is the, the minecart was coming down this ramp and hitting this flat spot, which I had built to slow the cart down. So I was going to put a track stop there, and it, it was slowing the cart down, but it was still going very fast. And when a minecart is going on flat ground and hits a down ramp, it's one of the cases where if it's got enough speed, it actually launches into the air. So what the cart was doing was getting launched into the air, coming over here and slamming into this wall, essentially. And then when a cart does that and it, and it drops back down, if there's uh, open track under it, which there is, there's open track right here, it just re uh, lines itself up the track and then continues its way down but when it when it came off the track and launched itself into the wall or the roof or whatever you want to consider it I guess it's actually kind of more of a roof uh, it spilled everything out so what I'm gonna have to do to fix this is uh, just make this so it doesn't have any of these flat spaces on the way down so I'm gonna have to dig right there so channel out that to make it a ramp uh, and I'm gonna have to do that all the way down oops channeling that's the first channel that's the second channel that's the third channel this should be the fourth. So it's just basically, I'm gonna have to channel on the ramp every time where it currently is. Erase this. Channel. Oh, and I can erase this. And what's that's going to do is essentially back the whole track up one space. And when I get down to the bottom, I'll have, well, I'm also going to have to dig the whole thing out. My uh, diggers are catching up to me. Oh. Hopefully I don't get a minecart sent down here. While I'm doing this. All right, so that should finish that. All right, and then I'm just going to have to dig back again. All right, um, let's see what this looks like. So I got a. I 
you might want to actually remove ramps as well. Hmm. There goes the remove right. But all sterils. It's not gonna remove it. It might be because it's got the track on it already. This track comes up right there. Let's see what happens if I can smooth that and get rid of the track and then see if I can remove that ramp. Okay, come on, smooth. All right, now if it's smooth, let's see if I can remove it. All right, now I can remove it, excellent. All right, so now I've got a ramp all the way up. Make sure there's no other um, spots like that on the way down, looks like not. All right, so we're gonna want to designate track again. And go all the way down like this. And there we go. All right, so as soon as they're done with that, then I can start it all back up again. Actually didn't stop. What are we doing on this? Hold on, hold on. How are we doing? Might want to remove this real quick before this top to cave. Yep, let's go ahead and take the cart off before I fill it up and kill everybody. There we go. Alright. I just didn't want that cart to fill up while I'm uh, building track right here and engraving the track. Um, the reason I can't engrave track is because this is just natural stone that I'm cutting. If you build a ramp, um, or if you're if you've got something that's not stone You can't just carve tracks into it like this. You actually have to use built tracks uh, So that's why you can see down at the bottom what I had done. Let me go down to the bottom oh, That's the top I built a little bridge here And then I actually built some track across the bridge there because I couldn't carve into the bridge Got a mysterious construction, okay so let's see. It looks like my track is now done, which is good. All right, now I don't know where it's going to stop anymore. I don't know if it's still going to stop here. I'm going to go ahead and start up that minecart route again. So top to cave. Let's give it a give it a minecart. There we go. And then let's also go ahead and come up to the top. And get the power running again. Pull the lever. Uh, and you want to see down bottom and how, how close are we on full? 93%. If they put the same minecart back, hopefully they will. And they'll kick it down pretty quick, I think. We'll see where we end up. So this this route, there we go. And it just slammed all the way into the wall. Okay, so event essentially... That was getting a lot of speed reductions from that. So I'm going to have to add in some more. Let me pause this. Let's take the route off. If I just take the route off, that should be good enough because this one's not going anywhere. Uh, no, they might kick it somewhere. You know what? I'll take it off that route too. I'll just take both minecarts off the route so then I don't have to turn off the power. Minecart off the route. All right, and then let's build a few more track stops. Track stop with no direction right here. Build construction track stop. So um, a track stop reduces the speed by 50,000. A 50,000 reduction in speed is not enough reduction in speed 
to actually uh, get the the contents to spill out. Um, you know, you'll see it on the if you read the wiki, they call it a, a shotgun effect, um, and that does not happen if the speed changes like under fifty five thousand or something like that. So I'm keeping my my speed change here to be each each um, track stop is only lowering it by by fifty thousand, so it should be fine. Uh, I'll just, I'll just fill the whole thing up. Because I don't know where it's going to stop. And then I'll have to change this, this spot again. Alright, so let's let the dwarves do that. Once we get all those track stops built, then we'll start this back up again. All right, lots of track stops. Let's um, open the route menu. Put on our two minecarts again. Get the get the deadly minecart back on this route. Get the not as deadly minecart back on this route. And let's let it let's let it go from there. All right. Let's see how we do. <sighs> As you can see, I've done some uh, designations to try to keep the dwarves off. Oh. Need these new spots. I don't know that I really need these new spots, but I might as well. You can see that just by making a minecart route itself, um, it automatically gave a lower designation to the dwarves, so that even if you forget to do this, it will somewhat keep the dwarves off. Uh, but I like to just go full up, especially when I'm doing the powered uh, mine carts where I'm sending them at very high speeds or can be very high speeds. I really don't want them to have this go poorly for them. I get in the way. I've already lost enough dwarves. All right, 27%. Once I see how far down the track this goes, then I'll get to um, redo this. Dogs. I don't know what you're doing, dogs. What if I ever built this farm? Still not. Okay. Oh, do I have a hunter back again? Don't don't have any support for you, hunter. Oh, and I don't need you to be just chopping wood. I'm not uh, producing any bolts for the hunter or anything like that, so I don't need to have it going out there doing stuff. Sixty-eight. Should kick it pretty soon. Oh, I, it looks like as the uh, cart just flew by here, it dumped everything in. It's pretty funny. You can see the dwarves are, are avoiding going over that track, which is good. I could actually do something else real quick. Be a little bit helpful to the dwarves. So if I go down right here that I can help them get underneath it as well I think they're coming down here to grab mugs now alternately to having this long landing pad as it's coming down 
Uh, what I could have done is just put a whole bunch of those land-ins, like every other level, similar to the rollers, where the rollers just kicking it up every other level. I could put a land and pad every other level, reducing the speed by 50,000 every other level. And that'll keep the minecart at a reasonable speed, and then it won't leave the track. And when it gets down here, it'll be going a uh, reasonable speed when it comes down here. I don't have to pick a land in spot by doing this. I It'll just land at the first one that I put there, or maybe the second one. Uh, so that's an alternate way you could go about it. I kind of like the land and pad methodology. It's going to be pretty sweet having a cart just come in here and come to a careening halt somewhere along the route. Cause sure, why not? I also don't know why they haven't put this minecart back yet. I don't know what they're waiting on for that one. Uh, it might be because it's full of ore and really heavy. And that might be why they're taking their time getting it here. I'm thinking. Actually, I can... That That is actually taking its time. Oh, it's coming down. All right, so it stopped right here. So now I'm gonna to have to redo these two routes based on this one. And it also means that I can get rid of these track stops. I'll keep that track stop. And I'll keep the last track stop just in case something weird happens with one of them. I don't have an extra track stop. So it used to be this one, I put the extra one in, and that one, so now it's stopping. So I put two extras in, so that makes kind of makes sense on why it did or didn't stop. Okay, so I need both of these to get fixed, it looks like. So this landon needs to come to go away. Landon goes away. I need a new route, which is right here it is still called landon but i don't know if i can i think i need to just kill everything okay, let me just kill everything all right so we picked it up and kicked it down that's where it lands then i'm gonna want it to go dump off here and then I'm going to want it to come over here to get kicked up. So this one is where it lands. This one is where it gets dropped off. This one is where it goes to get returned. And on all of these ones... So I've got another track stop here, but it's getting removed. So on the landing, I can go ahead... This one's going to be going south. I can just kick it immediately. Done. Uh, here, I can also just kick that one to the east. Alright, kick it east immediately. And then this one on the return, I can also just kick it immediately. Kick it. Now you have to be somewhat intentional with your designs in order to make these kicks the whole time. Otherwise you're gonna to have to have dwarves guiding it around. So you can see here this works because once they remove this track, obviously it'll just be a, an open space right down to here and then this will stop it. And this kick, it's just gonna turn, it will follow the turn because it's not a T-intersection or anything like that. It'll follow the turn and come here. And then this one, it'll follow the turn and it's okay that it leaves this track and has a perpendicular and it's got another bend here. This track will just go straight ahead because there's not a just a simple turn for it to follow. It'll just go across that. Now it makes the um, uh, friction a lot higher when it's doing stuff like that, not just following a track. But it's okay. It'll still get to these rollers and then go up. All right. And then after all those, we also need to come back up to the top. And there's going to be one more stop, which is this. And we're going to call that one the 
confirmed. Now this one I can't just kick. Actually, can I kick it? Actually, I can just kick that north because it'll take this turn, come over this way, and then take that turn. So I can actually kick that one as well. That was just kind of a little bit luck that that one worked out because I didn't specifically design. All right, so that whole route is set. This route is set other than the landing died. So we gotta So it's gonna land back here now. Now I showed this in the previous video, so I've deleted something off of this one, which isn't my lowest route. So when I click add a new route point, which is gonna be this one, it actually adds it to the bottom of the list. So what you need to do is just close the list, uh, bring it back up and then it'll be where it's supposed to be in the list right here. And for this one, I actually am gonna need to guide it because it's coming up to this intersection here. So if I do a kick, well, if I do a kick, it's just gonna stop right here. But what I'm gonna need to do is do a guide uh, and it's gonna have to guide and they'll, they'll bring it back over here. So we're gonna guide it, north is good, and guide it immediately. I'll go I'll put it back here. Uh, so both of those are done. Unpause it, and we'll see if the dwarves take this. This is actually should be full of stuff, and they should bring it here, and it should dump into here as the next one. Oh, it's probably a dwarf coming to do it. Uh, oh, no, he's just going to carry it over and put it here because it's not in the right spot, I think. I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he might be carrying it all the way back up to the top. Now that I think about it. I don't... All those blocks are from the... Track stops they took off. Alright. Let's see, where is he going? Where is he going with that? Yeah, it's going back up to pick up. Probably because it got off of where it was supposed to go. It didn't go to landing correctly. I'm going to go ahead and see if it will correctly fly to where it's supposed to go. If it does correctly fly to where it's supposed to go, then I'm going to go dig down to magma and start the next one, which will be nice. Eventually, I think I'm going to get rid of the other minecart routes, possibly. Don't know. Because it's got my minerals. You know what? I might just change the minecart route so it just puts all the metals up to the top. And then I'll actually have the other minecart route take the metals off of there. Metal ores, metal stones, and send it down. So that's probably what I'm going to do, actually. And then I can have that area be where I dig stone out and it's fine. Yeah, I'll do it that way. If you didn't catch that, um, this is... Um, not, this is the same fortress that I built the unpowered route as well. I could show that, and what I'm going to do is just alter that unpowered route because I'm going to be getting rid of my non-magma smith area that's over there. All right. Come on, my cart. 86%. 7. Get going. What do we got? Old, old thief. Okay. Might have to irrigate that down there to actually get the farm going. And again, I don't really need the farm going. Um, I will have prepared foods that get kicked down here anyways. It's barrels. Oh, it's funny. They're, they're coming down here and grabbing mugs out of there. That's funny. Um... And why are they doing that? Oh, because they need it for drinks. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to just put some of my mugs down. You know what? I'm probably just not going to be able to move mugs. Let me, let me actually pause it. 
Alright, so this customs or goblets. Let me just you know, I can do finished goods. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to. Alright, um how are we gonna get some metals? Here we go, that's what we'll do. We will mine out auto. They're probably gonna run into the aquifer pretty soon, but that's okay. So there. So that might get some metal ores on here, and that'll fill up the cart real quick. Plus, they're just gonna kick that cart pretty soon, anyways. As it is over the seventy-five percent, it's up to ninety percent, or the fifty percent. I can't remember what the limits were, but eventually they'll hit the two weeks and just kick the cart down, anyways, because it's it's full enough. Oh, it landed actually. So they did kick it, and then he kicked it again, and then it emptied. Kicked it to there, and it's fine. Kicked it all the way back up to the top. It's at returned, and I think they'll kick it one more time. It should go back to pickup. There we go. We're back to pickup. We got two good routes. All right. I'm going to go and fix my other route. All right, so back up to the top. So the other route I have is kind of nowhere near it. So I kind of want to actually create a new stop here. Okay, so I'm going to dig here. Oh. I'm just going to be changing the route completely. Okay. go so this is just coming off of my other route oh which route is that is that my yes that is the correct route okay good i was afraid for a second that was my route coming from the top but it's not all right so track so, oh i want to make a track stop that dumps to the north here all right and then the other routes so we have lots of other routes unfortunately so we want the metal all right so the metal bars No, it's metal ore. So metal one. So the drop off of metal one. We don't want to drop it off where it's going. We want the drop off for metal one to be right here. Oh, that one. No, put it at the end. All right. And the drop off for metal two. So we don't want it to be there. We want the drop off for metal two to be right there. Metal three, we're not going to drop it there. Metal three, we're going to drop off right here. And metal four, we're not going to drop it off there. Drop off metal four right here. It's only the four, right? Yeah, okay, so we close out of that. Bring this back up. All right, so. So metal one, drop off, we're going to guide it back to the south afterwards, immediately after we drop off. This drop off, we're going to guide it. Immediately back to the south. Metal three drop off. We're going to guide it back to the south immediately. And finally, the metal four drop off. We're going to guide it back to the south 
definitely be it. All right. So now instead of dropping off the metals way down at the other smith area, they're going to take it onto the track and drop it off right here. And then this is loading up metal ores to go back down. Now I'm going to take, since they're no longer dropping off the metals down here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all this. Because we're going to put it down the magma. And we don't have anything going here anymore anyways, so it's fine. Um, do I want to go ahead and do a pickup from right here, actually? So we start... I'll do that after I've got the magma up and built. I'll do one more stop from here. And I might even expand this out. Um, that way I can take all this metal ore or metal rocks that I have here. And I've got a bunch of these. I might find a way to get the bars down as well using the cart route. Okay. But I need to come back to where am I? here. Because I want to go down with the route from here. At least go down with the staircase. And... Sure. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with this area because I'm probably going to want to put another stage in area, and maybe some logistics in here. How about? What if I just go down with this? Yeah, just do that. Take this staircase I already have. And go down. Let's we'll see if we can find some lava. All right. Let's get rid of all these messages so I can easily see when the message pops up that we've either hit a cavern. Oh my goodness! Kidnapper showed up, got away with a dwarven child. It's, the, it's tough about being a dwarf. You never know. So I haven't built any defenses in this in this fortress at all. Which is why those thieves are are showing up with stuff. Now, I'm kind of surprised that my dogs aren't taking care of this stuff. I've got, like, a lot of war dogs sitting in my entrance. So I don't know what's... You know what? They're probably getting out with some of the other... You know what? That's probably what's happening. They're coming in the other entrances. Probably need to move some war dogs over. All right. Hold on. It's probably this entrance right over here. That's what's happening. We get another mixture. There we go. Except let's add some more dog. Some stray war dogs. There you go. That might help with these thieves. And I got some war dogs of both. These war dogs should be fighting them off when they show up, I expect, but maybe not. Maybe they're doing a bad job of it. All right, what did I strike? Nothing. Did you guys go all the way down? You didn't find anything yet? No, we're still got more digging to do. All right. Started raining. Give a birth to a boy. So we're gonna. Thieves can come and steal another kid. Miner's going pretty quick. It's probably my legendary miner. All right, we didn't find it yet. You can tell the difference between an up down stair and a normal because you see the it's actually going up and down. Whereas you get to the bottom and it's just one direction. Now it converts over to both when I just click on this and then go down even farther. So it's not that big a deal. Bring in some drinks. Gotta keep those dwarves happy. It's actually I'm surprised how happy we are considering I've put almost no effort in making them happy. I've just been 
building this power minecart stuff, which has been arguably really deadly for them. I'm as pleased as can be. It's all right. It was kind of funny. I uh, I hadn't traded at all, uh, and so I got a couple of just you get you get two guaranteed mig migrant waves, and then after that, it's based on your actions. And so I hadn't done any trading. I was just ignoring the traders and telling them to go away. So for I got a couple of uh, migrant waves, which is nobody showed up at all. And then I started, you know, the powered minecarts were going. I had a, an issue where the rollers were sending the minecart up the hill, but I, I didn't have the rollers every other level. So it wasn't continuing to send the carts up and they were rolling back down. Well, the minecart was also not on a stop. So the dwarves thought they needed to go and fix the issue and go get the minecart. But the problem is every time they went up there, the minecart would be careening into them at, you know, 40,000 unit speed or something like that. And there were just d injured dwarves spread all over that lower level. It was pretty bad. Um, no, I need to build some more. Yeah, lots of people I need to build some more uh, houses for. Them. So it was, it was a little bit funny, but uh, we eventually got that fixed. Now we now have two routes that are working. I don't see any... Dwarves getting killed messages either. This magma C is way down here. That minus one twenty eight is the bottom. So we're gonna we're gonna catch it here soon. Oh, and the reason I'm coming down to the magma C is I just find it really easy to build down there. Um, Somebody else is coming. The miner that was there was not doing it. It's a different miner. Um, right above the Magma Sea, instead of pumping it up. Whoa. What's going on? Get that. Digging. Warmstone located. Okay, so this this has Warmstone. That's okay. I'm going to dig it one time anyways. Uh, no. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. might cancel that one because it wasn't that square that I found the warm stone. Let's see. We can erase. Those. Right. And so it might do another cancellation as soon as they come down here. We'll see. Yeah, it did. That's what I thought. So when they cancel it... Oh, no, it didn't. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. Uh... Okay, let's do another one. Oh, it's warm stone because it's got the lava underneath it. That's the problem. So this should show the lava that's underneath it, the lava sea. And then this is the level that I'm probably going to have to get. Or magma C. All right. So if I go down one more level, you can see I've got a, a magma C here, and this is the level that I'm going to put my uh, mine all around. Okay. Now, but if I go all the way up, so here's the trouble spot: is that I'm going to need to pay more attention to the speed that I do stuff, because oh wait. I need to go down to which level is it? All right, so this right here, go to H. Uh, this location is going to be Mag. All right, and we are at minus 115, and going back up, we're at minus 5. So we have 110 levels to get down. And the problem here is that 110 levels, that means the cart needs to go, you know, 100 levels. Now, alternately, what we could do is try to come up with a pattern that makes it so that you don't need to go that far. So if I go, it takes about three ticks to descend one level, so I should be picking up 
should be going about 15,000 speed. And if I build a track, I forgot the speeds that this does. But if you see like a track stop, I've got different speeds. I can't remember what each one does. Set the friction and object direction doesn't tell me what the friction is though yeah because none of the values are in here um but i believe i can do it with just the fifty thousand. so if i go down two levels that might be pretty close might want to do this just kind of one at a time now coming up with the rollers it will be really easy um because the speed won't get that high it's that the problem is I'm going to want to be doing turns with this. And so with coming up with power, it's fine. It's the going down that I'm going to have to be tricky. So if I go two levels and then I do one track stop to slow it back down, that might be enough. So let's, let's go down this direction. Let's see. Well, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? So the pattern I want to do is I need two across. And they come out, and they come down, and they do a U-turn. They go back again. So I will do down like that. Oh, I can this so that'll dig down and I'll do a couple of these and then they're gonna turn here and then they're gonna go back down again and then from there I'm gonna do a couple more go a couple of spaces, they turn, go a couple spaces back, and then they go down again. All right, so if I do that kind of pattern. Now, let's go ahead and start building a minecart route. Uh, and I need to dig. All right. So now I'm just going to do uh, just a simple like this, that, that, that. All right, that's good for there. And then for this one, I'll do the same thing but backwards. So from here, we're going to need to keep digging. So we'll do two, four, two, four. So it's just a, just a four by four, right? And then I dig down. Here, just four, and then down. Four. Four and down. All right, keep doing some more of these routes. very least it's gonna look pretty cool I think I 
I think the up path that's going to be better is going to be the inside ones. But I might have to put a roller every level. No, I'm going to want to do the outside one for the rollers. Because that way I can get the power to it easier. And then I'm going to want the inside one to be the one that I break. Yeah. So the inside one is this one. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and start a track stop uh, with no direction right here. Go a little block. All right, so this will be the inside ones. Let's see if just one. So it's going to come down. It's going to have. 35,000 speed or so, give or take. It's going to be picking up like 15,000 speed and probably a little bit more. If I do a, a track stop every other level, it might be enough, especially with the turns and the extra tiles and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. Especially if I do the track stop immediately. As soon as it gets down the second level, that way it's it's a little bit slower, so it takes a little bit more ticks. There'll be more ticks of friction. All right, coming down here. Oh, vile force of darkness. That is not good. All right. Okay, Vile Force of Darkness. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't know how we got it. Yet. What do I want to do for you guys? What I want to do. I wonder if I could build like a statue right there. Uh, how many dwarves do I, I? I did leave with some. How much wood do I have? I got no wood. None at all. Logs, logs, logs. What about this? One log. Ah. All right. Guess I could just arm up my dwarves and see if I can win the fight with no training at all. I don't really like those odds. Ah, here's what I'll do. I will, first of all, I'll appoint a commander. Militia commander. No relevant skills. That's all right. Let's go with, uh, I don't know. The butcher. Sure is the butcher. All right. Commander squad. Militia commander squad. Let's see. No relevant skills. A lot of these guys. Do I got any axe dwarves? Here, you're a competent axe dwarf. Take you. Because that's what I have is axe dwarves. So I got axes ready to go. Competent axe dwarf will take you. Now, some of these other dwarves might be okay to take because they might, even though they're just a swords dwarf or a hammer dwarf, they might actually have some okay skills. Right, so we'll take some of that as well because they may just have some other skills by a pure random chance. Alright. 
All right. So we've got a squad. Let's go ahead and dig out a little square for them to train in. But then I also need to get them ready to go. So squad, select you, schedule, ready you up. So go get them some, go get your weapons and stuff. I don't know how much I got. We don't have very much. Let's see, Let's see how many guys actually showed up. Others. None. Let's see, Siege. Wild Force of Darkness has arrived and there's nobody? Quite lucked out. Snake. I don't know if I've ever seen a helmet snake before. Alright. Let's see their equipment. So they've got some stuff. Let's let them finish getting equipped up. Fun, fun, fun. And yeah, I still don't see any. Oh, we've still got a ghostly dwarven baby. Hold on a sec. Why don't I get any messages about that? I may have just ignored the message. Add a task. Grave a memorial. Get a ghost. Grave that. Get that going. All right, we'll set this as a barracks. Right there, accept. And these guys can train here. And your schedule is just going to be a stack of training. There you go. So I don't know. I'm guessing that what happened for the Force of Vile Darkness is that it's a bunch of goblins. So actually, let's go back to ready for you and ready to go here. Go station there for a sec. But I would still see the siege. So I don't know what's going on. You know what? Clear, clear that order. Schedule. Staggered training. Means I'll train roughly half the time. And there I'll I got a I got a squad training. And let's just go back to building. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Alright. Here we go. Back to building. So I wanted to put a track stop every other level. Track stop. Don't need to dump. I'll put it right here. All right, and then not this level, but back on this level. Put a track stop, not this level, back on this level. Uh, track stop, and then I'm actually going to put one right here. All right, and then I'm going to build another route, which is just going to be... Uh, I mean, I guess I'll call it K... Cave to magma. So it's the one going down. Start here. And for now, I'm just going to put it to right here. Look at that. See, top to cave. It's going through its motions. It's good to see. Not letting me. Hold on. Why is it not go? Okay, to map. Oh, oh, that was being weird for some reason. All right, so leaving the top 
I actually want them to just test it constantly. So, kick it north at zero. That's good. Um, let's just kick it every two days. We'll wait two days after it gets there. Uh, three days. Basically, I want to get dwarves to get out of the way. It's going to be kicking north. And then... No, and I also want... Yeah, nothing, nothing in it. And then stop number two. Uh, top. And then we're going to call this temp. Because it's... It's really just this. And this is going to go this direction and we're going to guide it and you could guide it immediately because you're guiding it. All right. Elven caravan. Um, I don't know that I care about an elven caravan. I'm going to ignore those guys. All right. Oh, and I need to put a, put a card on this. I think I have one more. Oh, and I'm going to need, I'm going to need some power. So that means I'm going to need some more trees. All right, so let's get some tree chopping starting. All right, there we go. Chopping some trees. All right, so let's get a cart here and see how this works. Coming back up, it's not going to be much of a problem. It's the, the going down that's going to be a problem. Legendary mug. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We have minecart. I'm going to go ahead and follow this minecart. So let's see how it does when it gets kicked. So it should kick north here after a couple of days. put it three days and then we'll see if it gets slowed down enough or if it goes careening off the track after a couple of levels or if it just gets stopped so if it gets stopped at one of them then we also gotta figure that out so this is gonna take some testing so I might have to do something like do it a couple levels yeah so it stopped it stopped almost immediately On the first one or the second one, it's you, you got it, right? Yeah, you got the minecart. So you stopped at the... So it went past one, and it got stopped at the second. So that means I don't need this one. But I probably want one just at the next level. So I needed it. So that'd be one, two, three levels. So then I probably won't need this one. And then it should stop there the next time we try it. All right, so that's gone. This needs to get built. Uh, hold on. Try to kick this again before I get done. All right, so I want to build that. All right, so it went by that one. That one's now removed. I got to put this one on. And once that one goes on, there we go. I'll see if it stops there correctly. 
And I'm going to just have to do this all the way down as testing it, fortunately. But I think that that pattern is going to work in general. So I'm going to want to not bother doing it and just build it and then I could just test it that way as I go down. So I don't need this actually anymore. So that's going to work my theoretical method. So I just have to build this all the way down to minus what? Minus 115. So that would be incredibly boring just to watch that. So I think I'm going to stop it there for the night. We've got we got the the two completely working now for this. Uh, oh, we actually sent some stuff up. They probably sent it with stones. Let's see where it's sitting right now. So it's up to the pickup. Top to cave. Oh yeah, so it, it came back. This one came back down, landed there, and then they put it back, and now it's ready to start picking stuff up again. And that one up top. Top to cave is filling up. We're getting some uh, some stuff in there. Okay. Um, so I'll stop it there for the night uh, for the recording, but I'm going to continue building on this, and I'm just going to get it... I think I'm going to get it uh, built up and kind of the same method I did before where I'm just going to be checking to see when it goes flying off the track or when it gets stopped early. Um, and just do that all the way down for the inside track. And I'll pick it back up next time with putting power on the outside. Oh, do I even... Because you guys saw power on the other one. So it's not going to be that interesting to show you power on this going up. So I think I might go ahead and do brakes and power all the way down. Um, but then I will actually show you how I build the top and the bottom of it other than just this little start I'll build I'll, I'll pick up the video there where I've built the power and the brakes down and up so that it works and I'll show you how I do the the gathering and the landing and how I do the logistics between these two because this is kind of an intermediary intermediary start stop so I think I'll do it that way oh some migrants have arrived all right more workers okay so have a good night everybody and we'll see you next time